Hey awak, awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Hai, Assalamualaikum. Jom kita revise sambil berehat. Sambil berehat pun, kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengah handphone. Apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula. Okey, jadi kita dah sampai dekat subtopik yang seterusnya. Jadi dalam video kali ini kita nak discuss berkaitan dengan electrical energy and power. Jadi jom kita tengok dulu berkaitan dengan electrical energy. So contohnya dekat sini kita ada satu circuit where the energy supplied by a battery EMF and we also have a bulb. So look at this diagram. The flow of current is represented by the green arrow. Where electrons is flow from negative terminal to positive terminal. Alright. So let's say current flow from A to B in certain time of T. So kita boleh kira the amount of charge that flow from point B to point A in certain time of T by using equation of Q equal to IT. Pernah jumpa kan equation ni? Jadi bila kita cerita berkenaan dengan the flow of electrons or the flow of charge, there must be a work done on the charges. Jadi kita boleh kira the amount of work done on the charges by using equation W equal to Q delta V where delta V is equal to V final minus V initial. Dan kalau you masih ingat, equation work done on the charges ini kita pernah jumpa dalam chapter 1 iaitu chapter electrostatic. Actually, when there is a work done on the charges in order to move all the electrons, where W is actually equal to electrical energy supply. E. So kalau kita nampak tadi equation W is equal to QV So kita boleh gantikan W dengan E Where E also equal to QV Dan kita dah tahu Q is equal to IT And then when we substitute in equation of E Kita boleh tulis equation energy supply finally equal to V times I times the time t okay all right so now let's continue according to the conservation of energy actually the amount of energy supply is equal to the amount of energy loss or energy dissipated in a circuit so kita tahu energy supplied by the battery is equal to the emf of the battery times i times dengan t okay and then for the energy loss, for example, energy loss in the resistor, we can write the equation of the energy loss is equal to Vr, where Vr is the potential difference across external resistance times dengan current and then times dengan masa, iaitu T. Ataupun kita boleh tulis, kita dah tahu kan, Vr also equal to Ir. So when we substitute equation Vr with Ir, equation of energy loss also can be written as I squared RT. So equation energy loss ini adalah berkaitan dengan energy loss in external resistance. Let's say dalam sesuatu circuit ada internal resistance in a battery. So we can calculate the amount of energy loss in internal resistance where E is equal to I squared small r times T. Ini hanya untuk case yang ada internal resistance sahaja. Okay? Alright, sekarang saya bawakan satu contoh di mana kita ada satu bateri and there is also an internal resistance of 1 ohm and then for example, the battery is connected to a bulb with an external resistance of 5 ohm dan EMF bateri tadi dilabelkan sebagai 12 volt. Alright, so jom kita tengok soalan yang pertama, what is the amount of energy supply in 20 minutes? Jadi bila kita refer kepada energy supply, jadi equation kita nak pakai mestilah equation of energy supply where the energy supply is equal to the amount of EMF 
F of the battery, multiply the current and multiply time T. And remember that T is in minutes, so make sure you change to seconds. Alright, so sekarang kita dah ada value EMF iaitu 12 volt and T pun dah bagi dalam soalan. Tetapi kita tak ada nilai current. Jadi ingat lagi kan subtopik 3.4. Di mana kita boleh kira the amount of current flow in this circuit by using equation I equal to EMF of the battery divide the total resistance. Jadi dalam circuit ini kita ada dua jenis resistance iaitu external and internal resistance. So kita boleh kira lah current that flow in this circuit is equal to 2 ampere. So, bila kita substitute dalam equation of energy supply, finally, the answer for this question is equal to 2.88 times 10 exponent 4 joule. Jangan lupa ya, unit untuk energy adalah joule. Dan soalan seterusnya, soalan B. Kita nak kira what is the amount of energy loss in external resistance in 20 minutes. Okay, dalam masa 20 minutes, berapa pula energy loss in external resistance? So, kita boleh gunakan equation VRIT since kita dah ada nilai external resistance dan juga current. So, kita boleh kira nilai voltage across R is equal to IR. So, energy loss kita boleh tulislah equationnya equal to I squared RT. Substitute semua nilai dengan betul. Make sure T dalam seconds. So, finally, energy loss in external resistance is equal to 2.4 times 10 power of 4 joule. Okay? Dan soalan yang terakhir sekiranya soalan minta kita cari the amount of energy loss in internal resistance for 20 minutes. Ingat ya kita ada dua jenis resistance. So sekiranya soalan minta kita kira energy loss in internal resistance. Jadi kita hanya perlu kira energy loss in internal resistance is equal to I squared small r times dengan T. Okay, so R dekat sini kita substitute nilai internal resistance lah iaitu 1 ohm and finally ikut and finally energy loss in internal resistance is equal to 0 0.48 times 10 power of 4 joule. Okay, jadi berdasarkan contoh yang saya berikan ini kita boleh nampak di mana bila kita kira the amount of energy loss in external resistance tambahkan dengan the amount of energy loss in internal resistance nilai yang kita kira nanti akan dapat nilai yang sama dengan energy supply in the circuit. Okay, so next kita akan move on pada next subtopic iaitu berkenaan dengan power where power is defined as the energy transferred per unit time where power is equal to E over T atau kita boleh tuliskan juga power equal to W over T since there is a work done E kita boleh gantikan dengan W which is work done okay so now look at this equation based on the conservation of energy where energy supply equal to energy loss so kalau equation ini kita bahagikan dengan masa iaitu time actually when energy supply divide T so kita akan dapat power supply energy loss in external resistance bahagi dengan masa kita akan dapat power loss in external resistance while energy loss in internal resistance divide T kita akan dapat power loss in internal resistance. Okay? So, kita boleh tulislah equation untuk power supply terlebih dahulu. So, kita boleh tulis dekat sini power supply is equal to energy supply over time. Remember, equation of energy supply is equal to EMF of the battery 
multiply current, multiply time dan kita bahagikan dengan masa T, kita boleh cancel T dekat sini dan akhirnya kita dapat equation power supply is equal to EMF times dengan current dan sama juga dengan power loss in external resistance kita bahagikan energy loss in external resistance dengan T so kita boleh cancel T finally power loss in external resistance can be write as VRI ataupun VR kita boleh gantikan dengan IR So, power loss in external resistance is equal to I squared R. Okay? Dan untuk equation power loss in internal resistance pula, sama juga E over T where E here is the energy loss in internal resistance bagi dengan T, kita boleh cancel T. Dan finally, power loss in internal resistance is equal to VRI or equal to I squared R. Okay, so apa kata kita sambung contoh kita tadi. So, kita cuba jawab soalan A which is determine the rate of energy transferred to electrical energy by the battery. Bila ada perkataan rate of energy transfer means that energy over time. Dan kita dah tahu tadi kan, energy over time adalah equation untuk power. Jadi soalan ini minta kita kira lah what is the power supply by the battery where it is equal to EMF times dengan current. So nak cari current macam mana? Kita dah discuss tadi. Current is equal to EMF over total resistance. So finally kita kira current dapat 2 ampere. And then we substitute dalam equation of power supply dan akhirnya kita dapat jawapannya adalah 24 watt. And remember, unit untuk power adalah watt and unit untuk energy adalah joule. Alright, so next question. Question B, calculate the rate of heat dissipated in the battery. Perkataan In the battery, merujuk kepada rate of heat transfer by the internal resistance. Ataupun kita kata power loss due to the internal resistance. Jadi kita guna sajalah equation power loss in internal resistance. It is equal to I squared times dengan small r. Okay, so current kita dah ada dua dan internal resistance kita dah diberi satu. So, kita masukkan dalam equation dan kita dapat power loss in the battery is equal to 4 watt. Okay, jadi saya rasa sampai di sini dahulu video kali ini dan kita akan buat lagi set soalan untuk chapter 3 dalam video seterusnya. Semoga kita jumpa lagi dalam next video. Bye-bye.